The problem facing us at the end of the 20th century with a magnificent body of theoretical accomplishment in physics and mathematics and a very rich body of descriptive material in biology is to come to an understanding that when it comes to the large global issues that Darwin's theory is intended to address, we simply do not have a clue. This is a daunting admission to make, but if we're intellectually honest, we should make it. The mechanism that Darwin proposed, that of random search or stochastic shuffle, is known to be inadequate in every domain in which it's applied. It's known to be inadequate in linguistics, and it's certainly inadequate when it comes to the overwhelming complexity of living forms. There is no reason on earth to believe that this mechanism is adequate to the task that it sets itself. If it should come to pass in the fullness of time that we discover that there is no explanation for life, we will have to accept it. If it should come